This familiarisation video has been developed to help trained operators of powered access equipment understand the general safety and operating features of this machine. Whilst every effort is made to ensure the information provided is accurate and up to date, Nationwide Platforms accepts no liability for reliance on the contents of this video, which has been produced for guidance only. It is not intended to replace the manufacturer's manual. This machine is an iPath Category 3B Mobile Elevating Work Platform, or MUP for short. If you do not hold this category license, then you should consult your employer. Do not operate this machine. Operator Responsibilities Before using the machine, please ensure the machine has an up-to-date thorough examination. It is a mandatory requirement that a pre-use check is completed. This should include a full function check of all controls, including the emergency lowering controls. Please refer to the machine warning decals and operator's manual before use. Ground controls The key switch and boom functions, including the emergency stop and auxiliary system, can be operated from the ground control panel. Visual and audible warnings are activated when the relevant functions are operated. Engine RPM and boom speed function can be altered to increase or decrease boom speed. Platform controls To operate the machine from the platform, the ground key switch needs to be in the platform position. Enter the platform. Attach your harness to the designated anchor point. Pull out the emergency stop. Activate and hold the heater plug switch. Release and then hold the starter switch until the engine starts. Once the engine is running, you will need to press and hold down the foot switch to activate the control panel. Only then will you be able to use the desired control function. Drive controls. This machine is fitted with a four-wheel drive high torque drive system. To operate, select the drive option and toggle between high speed drive and high torque drive. These options are cancelled out should the boom be elevated, at which point the drive speed will be reduced to an elevated creep speed. Using the coloured direction arrows, operate the drive and steer controller in the desired direction. Steering This machine has four modes of steering Front wheel steer Rear wheel steer Crab steer and All wheel steer Press on the button to toggle through your options Drive enable Once the boom has been rotated past the drive wheel from the normal operational position, the drive is cut out. To continue to drive, hold the drive function enable switch and using the coloured direction arrows, operate the drive and steer controller in the desired direction. Please refer to the operator's manual for more information. Boom operating envelope. This machine is fitted with working envelope sensors. This will stop boom operations if you're at the limit of the envelope. An action is needed to be completed. This action will be shown on the platform panel indicator lights. Lower primary boom indicator light. Lower the primary boom until the indicator light stops flashing. Self-leveling basket. The machine maintains the basket level automatically during use. In the unlikely event that the basket goes out of level, this will stop functions. The tilt alarm will be sounding and the indicator light will be flashing. The platform level toggle switch will only work in the direction that will level the platform. Level the platform until the indicator light is off. Platform out of level, P22 code. If the ground control LED display shows platform out of level and P22 code is visible, the platform level controls will have been deactivated. In the unlikely event that this situation occurs, it is critical that the manufacturer's procedure is adhered to.
overload warning. The machine is fitted with an overload protection device that will sound an alarm and cut out the functions if the platform weight limit is exceeded. How the overload system affects the machine's functions depends on the serial number and the year of manufacture. Remove weight from the platform until the light goes off. For further information, you can refer to the Safe Working Load Decal, the operator's manual, or the manufacturer's data plate. Tilt Alarm The machine is fitted with a tilt alarm, which will sound only when the machine is on a slope that exceeds its safe operating angle. If the tilt alarm sounds when the platform is raised, the machine not level indicator light will come on. Do not depend on the tilt alarm as a level indicator. Do not rotate the boom while lowering. Once fully stowed, move the machine to a firm level surface before raising the platform again. Auxiliary System If you cannot start the engine when at height, it will be necessary to use the auxiliary power system. If a person on the ground level is to operate the auxiliary system, pull out the emergency stop and then turn the key to the ground position. Activate and hold the auxiliary switch and select the desired boom function switch simultaneously. If it is to be used from the basket, press down the foot switch when operating the auxiliary controls from the platform. Simultaneously, hold the auxiliary power button and activate the desired function. For further assistance regarding this procedure, please consult the operator's manual or contact Nationwide Platform's technical support. All emergency lowering plans can be viewed and downloaded from nationwideplatforms.co.uk or scan the QR code on the machine. Securing the machine At the end of use, return the turntable to the normal drive position, retract and fully stow the boom. Park the machine in a secure designated location and turn the ground control key switch to the off position. Push the emergency stop button in. Finally, remove the key. All emergency lowering plans can be viewed and downloaded from nationwideplatforms.co.uk or scan the QR code on the machine. Lifting and point loading. For the machine unladen weight, refer to the manufacturer's information plate or operator's manual. Alternatively, contact Nationwide Platforms. Thank you for watching this familiarisation video. If you require technical support, contact 0845 745 0000 and select option 2. Please state the e-code and serial number which can be found on the identification plate. If you are in any doubt over the safe operation of this machine, do not continue. Please consult your supervisor. IPATH training is available from Nationwide Platforms by calling 0845 745 0000 or visiting nationwideplatforms.co.uk forward slash training.